Hello. Welcome back to Vagrant Story. The last time we went and took care of a crab, got ourselves a platinum key. From what I remember, the platinum key is used in a lot of uh, post-game stuff. I, obviously, I have to do post-game to get it. I don't know why they bothered to do this, because I... Whatever, I guess to make sure that I did this. But they could they could have just made this optional, but... I, I don't know, doesn't matter. I was looking at some... Looking through the maps to see where to go next. I think it... No, it's not that. So... Yeah, I can do this locked door now. And it's in a... And there's a save point there, so I can teleport there. And abandon mine is B2. Uh... I think it was... Under City West. Yeah, back here in this, um... Post-game half of this area, I can unlock this now. I'm pretty sure that's a, um... An item room. There's also... This here. I'm pretty sure there's also an item room. And this here. And I think this is progress. Maybe. Kind of. Uh, I was also... S somewhere else with a sigil, I think. I also do know that I can do more in the Iron Maiden. I don't know if I want to yet... I think this is where you get the chest key, actually. So I may want to go to the Iron Maiden. I know I cannot yet do all of it. So I'm pretty sure I need uh, the gold and silver key, or maybe just the gold key. But I think that is where the chest key is at. So I want to get to a save point and teleport. Some more guards. Maybe it's about time I changed weapons as well. I don't have a whole lot of variety on me. If I ever stop off next to a, uh, like, stop apart next to a workshop or container. I'll just pull stuff out of the container to show off. Right. That's a dead end. Fantastic. I suppose I could have continued on. But I know there's save points in the city centers. And the keep is also this direction. Nah. I thought about using magic. But that's kind of a waste. Shank him good. Oh, a third guy. Goodbye, third guy. Right. There's people in my way. I am right next to the Iron Maiden. Maybe I might as well do that. Um, I don't. I don't think I really want. I honestly don't think I really want to right now. But I think I need to. Yeah, if that is the chest key, then I should do it. Okay, so I'm going to save. Not only because I have not had a chance to actually save between 
this this part and the last part. But because it's the Iron Maiden, and there are no save points inside of it. And it's not exactly scary, but there are a lot of uh, puzzles and... Uh, uh, okay, it's just puzzles. <laughs> it's just the puzzles. There's a lot of boss fights in it as well. And it is way back through here. I think I may have mentioned what these doors are. You get the sigils for them inside the Iron Maiden. I will uh, probably show all of them off, actually. Uh, much later. <laughs> Depends on how many I get in here. I think each of the bosses and maybe some of the treasure chests in here can be the sigils. And just like the ghosts, don't bother chasing these guys down. And we're going to immediately see one of the puzzles. Not necessarily a difficult one, but we have to do it to get back out. And every time we go through here to attempt clearing this place, we have to do the puzzle again to get back out. There is You don't have to come back out whenever you complete it. It will pop you out somewhere else in the game. Not randomly. I'm not. I'm just not going to say where. <laughs> and I wanted to attack him instead. He's going to. Yeah, he's going to immediately get a chance to leave. They are jerks. Okay, there we go. This is the, uh, pretty sure I have poison. This is one of the, uh, sigils. Open, unseal the door and the key. I should already have poison mist. Yes. I also think I may have some elixirs. I do not have elixirs. Okay. This part of the Iron Maiden is not too difficult to navigate, to keep track of where you're going and facing, but it gets... Okay. It gets uh, kind of confusing. I think it's the second or third floor you just don't see the map at all. About my magic. Okay. And here we go. A wine. This does not tell you what stat you gain from it. I'm pretty sure all the wines are down here and only here. Strength. Okay. Here we 
break art? No. Yes. And down he goes. And the chest key. Fantastic. I am 60% sure the chest key is down here. And once we get it, we're just going to turn around and come back up. Uh, so this is not only a puzzle to get back up, this is a puzzle to get across. Not exactly too much of a puzzle, you just, you just gotta jump. Oh, we have not encountered these yet. You can only push these as many times as they have numbers. If they have one, they disappear. So the three, we only actually get two pushes. This is like a... a shadow enemy. I don't know why this attack is... doing anything to it. Okay. Screw you, skeleton. About my magic. I think every chest in here is also going to be locked, either magic or the chest key. It sure would be nice if this was a chest key. I could just leave. And it's not! I am fairly certain that I could not progress past a certain point in here as well, yet. It might, if it's the Platinum Key, then I know to just turn around, because I'm not ready to do that. I think I do need the Platinum Key, but I also think that I need the other keys. How do I not make... How, how did I not make that? Huh. You get no extra distance. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to actually get up there. Huh. You do not push a stone on there, if you're wondering. That is not the solution here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, that's not a lot of extra distance. Okay. So since you reappear where you enter the room. I'm going to do that so I get another... This is going to be annoyingly tight, I think. Or impossible. Hmm. That platform doesn't move anywhere else. Am I just not getting enough distance? I can't actually get around that edge, either. Let's try... Here? No, absolutely not. Okay. I don't remember having to use any items. So it, it has to be from the platform. I don't think this is going to make a difference, but let's try fixate. I don't think I've talked about that. As you can see, it locks platforms in place. Sure! Sure! Just, it, sure! <laughs> just once it's time! did actually get a lot of, uh, not exactly damage, but took a lot of, lost a lot of health falling in that hole.
Oh, I thought I saw a third one in here. Another wyvern? Give him a good old shank. And completely fail my, uh... Timing. Although, thank you for it anyways. Also notice that he is not technically a boss. There are no stat-ups in here. And I was down to 74% hit rate on him. With only 14 risk. Yep, I knew it. Chess key. I could technically keep going. I am not going to keep going. I should just put the knife away. I was going to be a little upset if I missed. Okay, not locked, but I do not need to progress. Okay, one agility. Pretty bad. Four hit points. Okay. Alright, so now we have to get out of here. This is not going to be overly difficult. Do I want to go on to... I don't think there's another sigil to get. I, I think I know what I'll do. I think I'll show the next puzzle. But not go down enough to actually have to do it. Okay, screw you, trap. I don't think there are any other sigils to get in here that actually progress. Blake Glove is actually very good. I think it's what I used before what I had of on now. Hoplite. You actually get Hoplite in here. This is uh, post-game armor. And there is better than that. And then there's better than that. All from doing this over and over again. And in no way do you need any of that. I don't even need the hoplite stuff to be doing as well as I'm doing. I could have been just fine with the plate stuff. But if they're going to give me the best armor in the game, then I'm going to use the best armor in the game. I did not think this would be this far in. Maybe I'll find another uh, set of item rooms. Probably not. Let's walk right off. Okay. These are the next set of, uh... You know what? I think I may just do this. Now I'm committed. I think I actually have to go out here for it to be a puzzle. Okay, we got another boss anyways. This is a legitimate boss, with boss music. And I think it's that of... Iron Golem. Let's go shank him. That was much too fast. I was just mashing circle. Which is the attack button. And he's dead. It takes him a moment to realize. <laughs> so there's a few fights like the that Wyvern that are not actually bosses, although they're they are bosses. And then there's a few that are legitimate bosses that give you sad increases. It is mostly like the Wyvern. I don't need the hit points. Okay, and another to the key. 
So I don't think there's any more if I progressed. Hmm. I could keep going until the platinum door. I was not intending to do this, this part. I just wanted to get the chest key. I'm just going to go back. A lot of these are just b much better way saved until you can just go one way through this place. But now we have to do this. These are magnetic blocks. The ones that are on the red, you cannot lift off. The red and blue are... Well, they're magnets. How do I... See that floats? I think I do this? Yeah. What does this do for me? Does this do anything for me? No. I feel like I should be able to make it from there. Okay, so, not that. I don't think I can pick up that red one. No, I know exactly what I need to do. I, I was, I'm just... See, I think this... And this... You give it one of these. I'm also 90% sure, 99% sure, the magnet blocks only appear in the Iron Maiden. Ow. Thankfully, there's no instant death traps. I think that's just, uh, Actually, I don't know what that is. I think that's non-elemental. But there will be a lot more traps going in further. And as with earlier in the game, it's usually smarter to not go down the center of an area like I keep doing just to the side not straight onto the door the traps are usually straight onto the door not always but it's uh it's quite a lot safer I don't think these big rooms spawn anything. And even after saying to avoid the paths right in front of the door, I just walk straight ahead again. And again, I just don't make it. I don't... Just fixate... Make the hitbox bigger? I actually cannot use any of these boxes next to me. They are all push blocks. Okay, I feel like I'm stopping at the edge and I shouldn't be. I actually might be able to make it to the middle. 
I think I can make it to the middle. Yep. That's stupid. <laughs> Whatever. I don't think I'm going to screw it up, but I feel like I should go into that room in case I screw it up. one of these I had the chest the uh, key locked chest I can quickly uh, that one the nerds because I know it works the old shadow weave. So now we can go back to all the chest key locks. So I do have to do this. I have to do this. Because I have to get what's in that um, chest in the wine cellar. continued on until I ran into a platinum key door. But there would have been a lot more puzzles going back. We had to come down here into this room to get a sigil to progress, and then we had to go down to get the chest key to progress. I'm fairly certain I have to do that. Okay, this puzzle's pretty easy. I also don't know if we are going to encounter any of the, uh, the evolve or die puzzles. It is literally no different to the puzzle, like the... It, it's no different than this puzzle here. It, if I... If I got an evolve or die in this room, it would be the exact same puzzle. You just are timed. And I don't think you get anything from reading the time. They're just kind of random, like, do the puzzle quickly. Why, though? It might affect the, um, the score that you see whenever you defeat a boss. But I'm not going to run around back... To all the past places where there were puzzles just to repeat things J in case I get one of those I guess that is going to be all that there is into this part but I will show I got two of the sigils in here that so will show these oh, should I save them for later I think I'll actually save them all for later I'll have to go through all of the Iron Maiden and I will get the sigils for all of these doors I will do all of them uh, at once, I guess. We can also get the locked chest out here. I do not remember where all the others are. That's actually pretty good. The rest is not. The salad was not a bad helmet. Let's see. Did this... This is fairly half... This might actually be the legitimate halfway. I think I just had to stop off at the bridge or... This one. <laughs> because of uh, the cost. To, to reach, like, the in-game stuff. I think he might actually be back. There's a pretty good chance that he is back. Yes. Yeah. You take that zero. Shank his legs.
Come on, guy. Ow! There we go. That's how you shank someone. He actually can drop stuff. That's not actually what I wanted. I wanted magic. Okay, so we did not actually have to do this. Huh, I thought this was actually required for progression. I guess not. Okay. Well, it's a Damascus shield. Okay, and you can see... Okay. I haven't pointed this out before. You can see it lights up gem. That means that, the, that, means that there is a gem in the shield as well. I'm not going to use it. Take a look at the shield. Increases the power of direct attacks. Which is a lie. It increases the power of physical attacks. This would be a very good shield. Huh. I legitimately thought I had to do this. I guess you don't. Although maybe the Minotaur dropped a sigil? I do not recall. Anyways, um, I am over, over again. Where's I gonna go? It was under city. Okay, town center west. Okay, over here. where I came into this place at. No, I came in over here. Okay. I should be able to teleport there. Yes. Alright. So that's going to be it for this part. I will um, start next time going into that uh, to the Undercity where I could use the Iron Key. Save. But yeah, that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. It's it's gonna kind of be like this for a bit. Uh, kind of, I'm not gonna look around for all the chest, the the chest key locked chests. I fairly certain nothing in them is required. If that one isn't, then none of them are. But yeah. Um. I'm going to be kind of looking around for where to go, I guess, for a bit. I have an idea for, of it. I'm pretty sure it's the... the maybe it's not the other part of the undersea that I'm heading to. Anyways, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more. And thanks for watching.